Checking the ingredients in everyday products with a few clicks on your phone. It's the new high-tech way to check on potentially dangerous chemicals. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl has more on the Einstein Healthcare Science Center report. Hi. That's right. High-tech guys. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there have been growing concerns about the chemical ingredients in products like soap and skin cream. What are they and just how safe are they? Well, much of that is still being debated by scientists, but some apps on the market claim they've got it all figured out for you. It's estimated the average American uses nine personal care products every day. Things like shampoo and deodorant that contain 126 unique ingredients. Reports have said some of the ingredients contain potentially dangerous chemicals that you put on your body every day. And even the experts say it can be tricky to sort out what's what. It's an uh, ongoing very difficult scientific task to keep up with all that. Now there are apps that offer info and advice on everyday products. One is called Healthy Living, created by the nonprofit Environmental Working Group. It provides ratings for more than 120,000 products. You simply scan a product, and if it's in its database, you can see different ratings on it, things like allergy and cancer concerns. But how reliable is that information? Some of the nonprofits that, that, that monitor this uh, they have some good information, uh, but they are not monitored. It's not always crystal clear whether they have a vested interest in some of these products they're promoting. Experts say the most reliable info comes from sources like the EPA and FDA, but add some information online is surprisingly reliable. And if you look at the track record for drugs and cosmetics in this country compared to other countries, we're, we're far ahead of the curve. Uh, is there room for improvement? The answer is always yes. There's always room for improvement. But, but product, products are safer. Now, experts say if you are really concerned about ingredients, it's best to do your own investigating, relying on several different websites. And also look for products that have the fewest number of ingredients and chemicals. You know, when you look on the labels and you see this long list of stuff you've uh -huh. never heard of? If you're worried about it, don't, don't use it. Right? Awesome. Yep. I got you. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Um, Thanks, Steph. You got it.